Jam School Remix. This is the card trick that has won more free beers than any other in history. You ready? First of all, we don't truck in any fake decks of cards. I want you to pick any one you want. Don't let me see it. Take a look at it. Make sure you remember it. You just say stop whenever you want. Stop. I'm not keeping any breaks. I'm not holding a pinky break. I'm not using a short card, anything like that. Nothing's marked. Your card is somewhere in the middle of the yeah. deck. Uh -huh. Now you might think that he knows that it's exactly 52 cards down yeah. from the top or whatever. So I'm gonna cut it one, two, okay. three times. In fact, yeah. you do me a favor. You cut the cards. All right. Awesome. Do it again. Go ahead and cut as many cards as you want. One more time. One more time. All right, now at this point, we've cut the cards like seven, eight times, yeah. right? Now it could be that I have an eagle eye. Not only am I controlling exactly where the card is, but I'm also watching where you do it. But even if that was how I was doing it, uh -huh. you'd have to admit that's pretty kick ass. Yeah. This is not about the cards. This is about you. You remember your card, right? Yeah. I'm going to go through the cards. You're going to watch the cards. I'm going to be watching you. When you see your card, don't react. Kevin. Yeah. Would you be absolutely amazed if the next card I turned over was your card? I would, yeah. Would you buy me a beer if I nailed it? Yeah, I would. First of all, you really do give them any choice of any card in the entire deck. Let them remember it. And what I did was I riffled a bunch of cards and you said stop. I said put the card back in the deck. Yeah. And the reason I looked away was so I could see what the bottom card in this right hand was. So I don't know what your card is. I don't know where your card is. But when you put it on top and I drop this card, I know it's yeah. underneath yeah, yeah, the yeah. ace of hearts. You cut the cards as many times as you want. Believe it or not, cutting the cards does not shuffle them up. The only thing you got to make sure is that you complete the cut every single time. So I cut the cards a bunch of times, you cut the cards a bunch of times, then comes the lie. I make sure to make it clear that your job is to watch the cards and I'm gonna be watching you. Uh -huh. This makes you focus on the cards and it gives you something to think about while we go through them. I'm actually not watching you either. Yeah, I'm yeah. watching the cards. Yeah. The whole time I'm thinking ace of hearts, ace of hearts, yeah, ace of yeah, hearts, because yeah. I know as soon as I see the ace of hearts, yeah. the next card must be yours so I kick it out. I still don't give it up and I keep going, I keep going, I keep going. I make Make sure that it's in a place where you're able to see it the entire time. Then I lie without saying anything. I flick the card and I say, how amazed would you be if the next card I turn over was your card? Most people will think they have one over on you because they see their card and they think that you're the one who screwed. Yeah. So instead, you wait till they give the bet, you set the card down, and you turn over their card. Yeah. What I love about this use of the key card effect is not only do you find out where their card is, but you lay a diabolical trap so that the moment you ask them if this is gonna be their card, they're willing to commit anything, a billion dollars. I'm sure empires have risen and fallen on this trick alone. Scam School Remix brings you the best of our over six years and 350 plus episodes. You can check out the episode this one came from or check out this week's episode. I'm sure you'll feel good until you feel really guilty about all the beers you scam. How you never really did anything with your life and all of a sudden you're on a show on the internet. You got a million subscribers, but what that was.